Good afternoon, guys. Rich here. I'm at home for a change uh, because I have something very exciting to share with you. So, um, let me give you some background to this. So, I've had this sort of strange fixation with uh, theme parks since I was like 14. Largely came from discovering uh, the game Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, but my first sort of proper theme park visit was when I was 14. Uh, we went to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Now, it's not exactly the classiest place in the world. At least the town isn't. And the park certainly come a long way since then. But um, it kind of became a bit of an obsession for me when I was younger. And uh, subsequently, as an adult, I've been back and I have enjoyed it many times. Um, but recently the opportunity to buy something extremely unique came up. And being as I like collecting odd things, very unique things, I have quite a collection of unique things from around the world. For instance, I have a piece of the cable uh, from the old cable car system in San Francisco. So uh, this isn't really too much of a stretch, but it's certainly the largest piece I've acquired and it just arrived this morning. So what am I talking about? Well, this is what I'm talking about. This is a section of the track, or the old track, which has subsequently been replaced, of the Big One roller coaster. Now, when it was first opened in 1994, it was the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the world. A record that didn't hold for very long, but certainly remained the tallest roller coaster in Britain for quite a while. And uh, I actually own a piece of the track now. Now, I've got to be honest. Uh, I mean, I knew the measurements of well, the overall dimensions of the piece, but still standing next to it, it's considerably larger than I had anticipated. But nonetheless, I'm still totally blown away to have this. Um, the real challenge is going to be moving it from the front of the house here around to the back, so to get out of the way, because it weighs half a metric ton. It was a challenge getting it off the delivery van this morning. Anyway... Uh, if you're not sure what roller coaster I'm talking about, I am of course talking about this one. So anyway, I thought you might want to take a closer look at it. So you can see on the actual rails here, now obviously I think this has been sitting in their yard for a good few months now, maybe even a year since uh, it was removed for uh, the retracking that they did. But you can see the wear that the wheels have had on the rails all this time and it's obviously starting to rust through so these are things I'm going to have to, to think about I should say ultimately I'm planning on turning this into a desk for my recording studio um, which will be a really really interesting end to the coaster tracks life here and, uh, we'll have a look under on the underside as well see if there's any yeah you can see where the upstop wheels ran which is pretty cool the one thing you never really appreciate when you're on these roller coasters is actually how chunky the infrastructure is. I mean, that's that's pretty damn thick steel. And uh, I'm going to call them ribs. I don't really know what the technical term is there, but they're absolutely enormous. And the spine of the track as well. I mean, uh, it, I mean it's approximately a f uh, 11 inches between my pinky and my thumb. Don't ask me why I know that. So... You can see how pretty damn sturdy that is. <clears throat> and of course, this is where the track would have bolted together with another piece there, which is pretty cool. One thing I didn't realize as well we were getting is that there's pieces of where the catwalk would have sat in between the rails for evacuations and for maintenance and inspections and things like that. So that's going to be helpful for actually physically attaching uh, pieces of wood to make this. So, in terms of which part of the coaster it came from, I'm waiting on the Pleasure Beach confirming that uh, themselves, but I have a suspicion that it came from this part. Whee. And I base that suspicion on there's a slight banking on the track if you look at the level of the catwalk in there up there you can see that that is not sitting flush with uh, the angle of the of the rails and also there's no bend in the track here 
it's actually a straight piece of track so I suspect that it came from one of those drops there as you just saw so the next challenge is going to be moving it from here it's uh, not the most ideal of things to have in your front garden but I'm going to take it around the back clean it up figure out how I'm going to attach uh, other bits to it to make it uh, a usable desk and then transport it to my studio wherein we'll have another logistical nightmare of moving it like I said it's half a metric ton but all that said this is definitely one of the most unique pieces I have in my collection so yeah I love being a nerd bye <laughs>